everyone. Welcome to Board Game Battle with Glory Hound and Dr. Glory Hound. Today we're going to be playing Pitch Storm in. Is that it? Are you just going to interrupt <laughs> the entire Dr. stream? <laughs> oh, this is going to be this is going to be a day. <laughs> I'm going to march your hands. March you on. Oh, okay. Well, thank Pitch you. Pitch Storm. Why, thank you. Thank you so much for letting me continue on on my show today. <laughs> be playing Pitch Storm by Skybound Games. This is going to be a matching game where we're going to be putting together a plot and a character and making up a movie for you guys to decide who's going to get funded. Word. Three or more players. You can be playing teams if you want to get crazy. <laughs> Obviously there's two of us, so you guys are the judge. Absolutely. You Everyone guys are definitely, there. definitely the judge. Uh oh, my mic is cutting out. That's okay. Not important for this one. Checking all connections, guys. Checking all connections. Putting all the stuff by the things and the things by the stuff. How about that? Is that a little bit better? Okay. Thank you so much. Sometimes if you just place it in the weirdest <laughs> spot, it just kind of moves around all weird. No, I had turned up the dBs on mine by like pressing it. Oh. When I go over there and do this to it, guys. Just like our game of Watergate, she likes to cheat by giving herself a rare um, advantage. That's not how that works. That's not Ooh. how that works, sir. All right, Nixon. <laughs> Hashtag never forget. All right, so is there any other, do we need to talk about any other themes, any other stuff, or should we just get started? Let's do this. Let's, get, let's do this. Okay, it's let me go ahead and. Swarm of pitches. All right, we do have voting. We have the link in the, not the comments, but the. Uh, Description. There we go. Links in the description, guys. So you guys can vote and tell us who is going to win. All right. Round one. Now, don't do it until we both read our movie. <laughs> so essentially the way the game works, <laughs> essentially the way the game works is you either take three character cards or three plot cards. Then you're going to get randomly assigned the opposite. And then the other player is going to have notes. And so you got 45 seconds to quickly pick your move. Time. And at any point in time, they can say, you know what? That's great, but I have a little small change. And just a little, I love your vision. I love what you have going on. Just a tiny, tiny change. That's no fair. It's no fair to vote for people before it even happens. All oh, right. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I need the help. Now, what is, is Glory Hound anyway? So oh. that, was, that was a false vote. False vote. <laughs> now, I'm cutting in and out a bit. Alan's saying I'm cutting in and out a bit now. Oh, no. That's it. Restarting the stream. Just restarting. Oh, okay, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Is that just because you were losing? <laughs> All right. Let's oh, get... now he's like, I'm kidding. Let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and pick three plot cards to look at. Okay. I'm going to take three characters. All right. And I get automatically assigned one character card that I don't get to look at. Right. And you get automatically assigned one plot card not to look at. Now, normally the third person that would be doing the voting would actually have these note cards so, here, but we're going to play them for each other. Yeah, you guys technically would have these note cards, but we're going to go ahead and choose them for you, okay? So I'm going to take a look, and I'm going to show you guys my cards here that I have to choose from. Mm -hmm. I don't want that one. Mm, what do I, what do I want to make a movie about, guys? Okay, I think that. And so the cool thing about this is I have no idea what my plot is. So I picked the character. But that's going to be the best. Gonna match up well or not. I think that's going to be the best. All right, there's my plot. You got George? So you want to go first or second? You, I will go second. I will go wow. second. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use this handy sandy uh, pitch storm app here. It gives us 45 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the cards out loud and then I'll start the timer. And you want to have your note cards because you're going to be the one who stops it. I'm going to interject. When you say stop, I'll stop. Ready? Let, let me show everybody the note cards really quick, too. Okay. I don't want to give myself an unfair advantage by reading them ahead of don't, time. Don't read them. Don't look, Dr. Glory Hog. I cannot read that quickly. That would be extremely <laughs> quick. I feel like I'm on the spot. Usually, I'm just demoing this for people. Are you ready? Uh, let me double check, okay? Oh she has analysis paralysis in this game. Yikes. Okay. I got, I got the perfect one. You don't even know what my movie is. You got the perfect one? I got the perfect one. <laughs> All right. So, my movie is casting an arrogant prince that hasn't worked a day in his life as he tries to save a family of Bigfoots from a deadly wildfire. 
Ready and go. So you come across a young prince, a prince who's never worked a day in his life. All he does is sit around all day eating crumpets, talking about how peasants are dirty and unwashed, <laughs> that kind of stuff. You know the guy, basically Trump. Um, and uh, uh, he's trying to save a family of Bigfoot from deadly wildfire. So he gets locked out of the castle, and he's never been outside the castle before, so he doesn't know the secret password. He doesn't have a key. He's just stuck out there. He's never even been outside the castle. That's how sheltered he's lived his whole life. While he's out there, a team, a family of Bigfoots actually um, integrate him into his family. They start raising him up, right? Okay, well, I love it, but how would I adapt this into a board game? Because I really want to pitch this to Hasbro as well, so we can do the whole, like, movie thing and then also follow with the game and get some of that extra cash, right? All right, 12 seconds? Easy. All right, so you've played Unmatched, right? There's a family of Bigfoots. So that's going to be on one side. The other side is going to be people in the castle guards who are trying to actually kill the Bigfoot <laughs> and kill the prince before he can come back and get rid of them because he uncovered their evil plot. So you're basically copying Unmatched for this? Yeah. Uh, to be fair, it's I mean, it's a game that kind of like reinvented another game, so... Is it copying? Is it? Wow. I don't know. Wow. Wow, Dr. Gloria. So, arrogant Hogg. prince trying to save a you, family of Bigfoot from a You fire. can't just yeah, copy you, a game like that. I like how you went right to Hasbro. Like, that was your, your go to. <laughs> that was my go to card. That was the, It does. It says Hasbro on there. Okay. So, that's the first pitch. See? We want to pitch it to Hasbro. I'm going to take a look at my note cards while you. Uh, Everybody you can't knows look at yours Hasbro now. makes stellar games, guys, okay? All right. Let me see what my thing is. Yeah, I got two, just in case. We'll see how this goes. Read it out loud. <laughs> Read it out loud. All right. Hold on. This is so ridiculous. We have a professional hitman on their last job that is held hostage at a karaoke bar run by mobsters. Go. All right. First off, I'm looking at some sort of like John Wick sort of thing, except we're going to bring this into like the market and market specifically to females. So we're going to have an entirely female cast and we're going to have like Johanna Wick, okay? John Wick's sister mm -hmm. that is actually at this karaoke bar and this is their last job. They're actually supposed to take out somebody in the bar. However, they're being held hostage and now they have to sing their way out. I like it. I mean, I like what you got, and I've got a very small note. Very small. I love your vision. I love where it's going. I don't want to make a major change, but can we do the whole thing in medieval times instead? Go. Absolutely. As Joanna Wick, Joanne Wick, Wick <laughs> gets on her lute, she starts strumming the lute, and her song goes out to the people, and all of a sudden, everybody's raising their cups of mead, and then lasers. Lasers everywhere. How are there lasers in karaoke in medieval times? Oh, sorry. I'm Lasers, out of time. Like, I actually have another appointment. Like, I'm sorry. You're done. No more. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with lasers. Maybe it should have been horses. Yeah, why I did you know. go lasers at the end there? I was thinking like the, the lasers from the floor, like the floor lighting. Wow. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is your chance to vote. Of an arrogant young prince who gets locked out of a castle and tries to save a family of Bigfoots from a deadly wildfire that's been made into the game Unmatched. We all know that it's Joanna Wick. Joan Wick. Or a complete ripoff right. of John Wick. No, no, no. It's not a ripoff. Uh, There's karaoke singing. It's like the glee of... Ooh, I don't know if that's um, helping you spell it the way you think <laughs> it is. Professional hitman stories, guys, okay? The glee. <laughs> Ellen so, is so like, is this gonna is be so a, tough because both of them are terrible. Is this going to be a hip-hop <laughs> remix in there? Oh my gosh, they could, you know what, Joanna could bring, like, the first hip-hop tunes to medieval times, and then they would, they would hate her for sure. Instead of, like, Joan of Arc, it'd be Joanna Wick. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna win this one, aren't you? Aw, yeah, that's what I'd like to see, guys. Get we your need last those second votes votes in. in. Get your <laughs> last second votes in. All right. Five, four, three... Two, one. It is yours. You got it. So you start off. So my movie didn't get funded, so it gets trashed. Alan said I didn't say that, but I was thinking it, right? And for John, so yours is good, so put yours over there. All right, I'm going to put my winning combination over here, guys. I already Winners, conceded the match. Calm down. hashtag winning over here. Got All right, this time card. I'm going to go for characters. I'm also And I'm going to get a mystery plot. 
gonna go for Dr. Glorhog, do you feel like grabbing one side is better than the other? No. No, it's just it's equally as, as disturbing. It'll be good <laughs> or bad. <laughs> All right, we're switching over our pole here. Ooh, this is tough. I want all of these. All right, there we go. Let's see here. I'm going to show the audience our cards here. Oh, gosh, I don't even know why I did this. I feel this. like there's definitely a theme in mine. Definitely a theme. <laughs> This feels quite mis mismatched. Mismatched or mismatched? It is very mismatched. mismatched. That's the whole <laughs> point. Because you can't know everything. Do you, hmm. I like this one. I think I'm going to do this one. I, don't know I feel I like should. this is some win. Do we have like certain areas we're putting these in? Just okay. throw them up over there. Yeah, face up means that they're discarded, basically. All right, Dr. Glory Hog. Oh, I need to look at my notes. Let me show you guys the notes. Oh, yeah, I should look notes because you're going to go first this time. I love the notes. I, this would be like, I love the fact that you can interject these in here and it makes things so super crazy during the game, right? I'm not going to do the crazy helicopter chase at the beginning <laughs> of the movie. You're, you're going to luck out on that one. Okay. All right, I'm ready. I know which one I'm going to do. All right, go ahead and read your character card because you go first this time. Okay. I have a reluctant. Oh, hold on. Let me let me switch here. Let me switch here. <laughs> a reluctant horseman of the apocalypse goes for the gold in Olympic figure skating. Three, two, one. So basically, we have a reluctant horseman of the apocalypse that just isn't feeling himself anymore, okay? And he's trying to find, like, different hobbies. You see him, like, arrows. He's trying to do arrows. You see him trying to bowl. All these things. And finally, he is so moved by watching Olympic figure skating that he realizes he must become a figure skater. And then he goes over the ice, elegantly spreading eternal damnation across that's, the world. That's good, and I like where you're going with damnation, and we actually have a lot of leftover props from the Passion oh, no. of Christ. Oh, no. So what if you made this all set back in biblical times? You know, no. we don't want well, Passion I mean... of the Christ, but we kind of want that vibe, and go. <laughs> All of a sudden, while skating, locusts swarm the crowd. <laughs> what else? What else happens in biblical times, guys? Water, water turns to wine, and then, you know, he murderizes stop. everybody. People are left stop. on earth. <laughs> you have to stop. <laughs> Only, what is it? Only the weak are on the earth. <laughs> you got to stop it. You got to let it go. Stop cheating. Come on. That's your movie. That's your movie. Come on. That's on you. You The reluctant that. horseman of the apocalypse, figure hey, skating. Is it is it still your turn? Or what are you doing? He would have like the this diamond, why, the diamond, black diamond vest. This is why she wins these games on stream, because I play it above board. And in real life, I mean I would just be like going for an hour. I would just be dogging a movie in the middle of it. But no, I try to be a gentleman on stream. Are you ready? All right, we're ready. The ice turns to water and he wow. walks across it, right? I don't even know how this happened. Okay, this is actually good. You ready? Okay. So mine is about a terrible, terrible goose who hunts for Bigfoot. <laughs> what? So in our last movie, this is part of a movie franchise. In our last movie, a young prince who's never been outside the castle before fell in, fell in with a family of Bigfoots and they had to escape not only a wildfire, but also all the people from the castle trying to attack them and kill them. But sadly, the prince didn't make it. It was not oh, a feel-good no. story. He dies at the end, and all of the Bigfoot dies. That's probably why that movie didn't make money. Except for one baby Bigfoot. So a Littlefoot, if you will. Little so foot, Littlefoot is roaming around the forest, lost, hungry, and this terrible, terrible goose who's just evil incarnate decides to open up its heart to protect this little baby goose. You better give me that note. What if this whole story actually took place at a paper supply company? Okay. I mean... A it's really a big hit right now. Like it's da, 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 yeah, that's da, da, right. Da, UK's been doing da, it. Da, 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 da. We need to bring it to bring it to America. Paper Supply Company, go. Okay. And he finds Bigfoot in Scranton, PA, at a paper supply company. Michael Scott's been hiding him <laughs> under the desk for the whole time. And his favorite game, the favorite game of a goose, is onk 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 oh. onk. <laughs> Best board game for a goose, onk. You can't do a callback like that. Oh, I you double callback. You can't do callback. I double callback. You can't do that. 
I called back my last movie and I called back a joke from our last stream. Deal with it. Wow. The Goose's favorite game. Favorite onk, board onk, game. Onk, 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 onk. All right, guys. people. Time to vote. We have the reluctant horseman of the apocalypse that goes for gold in an Olympic figure skating competition. Or that terrible goose that hunts for Bigfoot. You know what? Overall, I just, I don't feel like goose are particularly enjoyable as main characters. It's kind of like the witcher. Like personally. the witcher runs around basically being a big b-hole and then eventually he's like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to try to be good at the end. <laughs> or the Mandalorian. Same thing. So I'm what this, are you saying? this B.A. Mandalorian, and then he finds a little baby Yoda, and he's like, oh, baby Yoda, I love you. So and he becomes like a guy. And the goose could do the same thing. A Western? A Western tinker yeah, of company? of course it's in a Western. <laughs> of course it's a Western. Dwight, it would be Bigfoot. That's right. <laughs> True. On the streets of Philadelphia. All right, get Born your final votes in, guys. <laughs> on the playgrounds where I spent most of my days, chilling out, trying to be a big goose, when a little baby, baby Bigfoot comes by in a caboose. I pick them up, up, but I'm a really good guy. I'm going to go find him at a paper supply. <laughs> no? no? Guys, no. you've just had a taste. Do I get taste. points for that random no, rip? Hold on, hold on. Or do I lose points? You guys have just had a taste of Dr. Glory Hog's, like, special skill right there. <laughs> it's worse on camera. I'm so nervous. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> All right. This goes to that awesome, reluctant horseman of the apocalypse. You know? Once you've seen a, a Horseman of the Apocalypse figure skating, you just you can't you can't go see a goose movie about paper after that. I've got a lot of you know. Is this another thing like time machines? Do we hate Bigfoot? Is that a thing that people on stream hate? Oh, that's a good question. You guys question. hated time machines. You guys also hate Bigfoot <laughs> because I didn't pick Bigfoot that time. It just flipped out. Yeah. Do, do you guys not enjoy Bigfoot? Dr. Glory Hog needs to know. I do okay? think that I might not have mixed his cards up well enough because there's been some kind of... Get to the mix. But I then. mixed. I did mix since then. All right. All right. So uh, you won that one, so you get to I go. I foul. Foul. Thank you. <laughs> I can... That's fantastic, I, I, Alan. Should, should I like, like, <laughs> hey, little brother, get on stream and vote for me, please. <laughs> Getting Start done. calling calling in. Yeah. <laughs> Can we take a 15-minute break and go to my mom's house, set her up on YouTube? I don't know if she's ever been on it before. Okay. So, let's see here. Those are your notes? Yes, these are notes. the notes. All right. Here are the, here are the note cards, guys. I already got my note card. I kind of feel like this one will be She's going to hate it. <laughs> yes, I've already got a vote. Somebody's like, oh, that Dr. Glory Hogg has sick rhymes. He deserves, he deserves a vote. All right, you want to go for plots or characters this time? I'm going to go for plots because last time I did characters. I like rotating it up. I'll go plots also. I like doing the rotation. The rotation, okay? Character can be rough Let's take a look sometimes. at our plots here. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. Look at these cards. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I want that underground martial arts. Don't one. look. Don't look at that. I'm definitely not choosing that. It's probably like a delay. It's like it's probably like the kid voting for me. Like, oh, poor dad. But Aww, it's like delayed from last poor one. Poor dad. Poor dad. All right. <clears throat> All right. You get to go first. This uh, time. No, you do because you won. You've got two oh, funded I movies. Oh, I have to keep on win. I have yep. to keep on going first if I'm winning. Yup. Oh gosh, let me look at my character. That's what I said, and that's what we're doing. A lonely child at a boarding school competes in a deadly underground martial arts tournament. I feel like this has been done before, you know, like. <laughs> you, you know, I'm going right. Well, ta go back, go back, restart it. I wasn't ready. Well, like I wasn't you started ready. talking, so I well, was like, oh, no. you're good. I was, I was just finishing talking about. Really. Stop trying to cheat, Cheaty McCheaterton's. <laughs> Usually, you're supposed to read the cards and then immediately go, so you don't have time to come up with stuff. Ready, set, go. A lonely child in a boarding school, a boarding school for magic, decides to forego all of that. They hate magic and start participating in a deadly underground martial arts Is that arts her epic tournament. movie voice? Is that what's doing it? Is that? <laughs> She's just reading her cards. I don't understand. The martial arts tournament is so deadly that they end up having to recall on their magic skills to try to win. And they get thrown out for I using like them. I like it. I like it. But musicals are so hot right now. So can you make a musical and all the characters need to sing? And if you could just give me no. one of those little songs, that no. would be great. 
Three, <laughs> two, one. Musical. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, <laughs> right? Dr. Glory Hogg is cheating. Your time is going. Musical. So, they're actually going to sing about how distraught they are over losing just because of magic. And with this magic, they realize that their true skills were not in martial arts, but they were in oh, singing. You're done. I'm sorry. Magic, never heard of it. Oh, my God. Is it a good game? Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know how well that one went. <laughs> Hopefully, Dr. Glory Hogg does worse. I'm going to start reading my cards over and over again like this Hope and her. see if that voice is what's doing it. <laughs> The intensity. I'm going to need to bring my poop face to the me? game. Do you want Ready? Me? I'm about to read a card like I just got done taking a poop. Do you want me to read the cards for you? Would that no. make you feel better? I, I'm ready. <laughs> so, let's see. I've got a mysterious drifter running from their past. Attempts to rescue hostages from a skyscraper. From a what? Skyscraper. Oh, okay. Christmas Day, 1987. A man goes to meet his wife at work, and he gets locked inside after hours. He's a mysterious drifter who's running from his past. His past was he somehow accidentally caused the death of their son, and that's why they divorced. He's there to try to reconcile with his wife for the first time. He hasn't seen her in years. But while he's locked up there... Hold on. So we really want more plot twists here, like one maybe like every 10 minutes? Oh, not a problem. Okay. Ready? So while at the skyscraper, <laughs> the plot twist is he gets locked in there with a bunch of hostages, and he's trying to rescue them. As he's going through it, and he's making his way, he's crawling through air ducts, walking on glass. He mm. kicks a guy out the window. What ends up happening, he gets to the last guy, whose name is Hans. This and when he gets to really Hans, familiar. hold on. No, you stopped me in the middle. <laughs> I get to finish. No. No, because you stopped no. me in the middle by you talking. Said, you said that you wanted to cut off. You stopped me in the middle by off. talking. Stop. You can't <laughs> talk during my thing. You're such a cheater. The twist is Hans was his actual son. He wasn't dead. <laughs> That was the twist. You ruined my twist by talking in the middle of it. <laughs> like Hans you Gruber. Need, you, no, that's ridiculous. No. <laughs> Hans Kluber. Oh, Hans Kluber. Oh, totally different dude. Totally different, okay? <laughs> it was all set up by his dead son who wasn't actually dead in the first place. All right, we're going to need some votes. I feel like there were some shenanigans on that one. That one sounded a little too familiar. I do like the ending yeah, twist, though. Yeah, because the... Because the movie would never borrow from a previous movie. I do ever. like the ending twist of them being ever. Henry and his son as well. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> a cheater calling a cheater a cheater? Yes. <laughs> that is exactly it. A cheater calling a cheater a cheater. <laughs> I just think someone's bitter that you lose on camera so much. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, a lonely child at a bo magical boarding school that competes in a deadly underground martial arts tournament. Battle cry. I had like 15 seconds realizes their love of singing or a mystery a mysterious a mysterious drifter running from his past where he accidentally killed his son when he gets there to meet up with his wife he gets locked up and to find out that the person holding all the hostages including him and his mom was the son the whole time i like the ending twist on that i like the ending twist on that hi luke how are you doing never gonna be enough <laughs> that's okay we're voting in the, so if you go to the description, there's a link there where you can go ahead and vote during this and tell us which movies that you prefer because, man, these are going to go to the big screen. I have, like, some big screen ideas right now. Well, you've already got three movies, so I think you're going to be good because I'm calling this one. It looks <laughs> like movies, you got this one, too. Three movies to the big screen. Let's do this. All right. How did that person start to I don't think I interrupted her. I stopped and restarted the time for her. <laughs> If I did, I apologize, but I did restart the time for her because she said she wasn't ready. But your, I think it was more like your movie. Your movie sounded exactly like Die Hard. It's I've like never Die seen Hard it. with an alternate ending. What's Die Hard? <laughs> Whatever. I've never seen it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh I brought goodness. up a classic movie. Oh my movie goodness, for Die Alan. Hard though, you know, Die I'm Hard. Not. I've never seen it. <laughs> okay, I did plot cards last time, so I'm gonna go for character cards. Ah. I'm going to go for character cards. I'm going to get a random plot card, and I'm going to get to choose from these lovely characters right here. Did you do plot or characters? I did characters. I did characters also. All right, let's see here. I don't want any of these characters. <laughs> It's going good, Luke. We're do we're having fun. We're gonna be playing this, and then what are we gonna what are we gonna be playing on 
Sunday. The Goblin King is angry. The Goblin King is angry. That's right. We played Watergate yesterday. Watergate was so good. Yeah, Watergate was a fun game. So much fun. I'm going to show you guys my note cards as that well. That was a nail biter. Uh, these ones here, which are really cool, they usually make you flip out another card or you say somebody's information in here. So those ones are always fun as well. Be your seat. Lend to more creativity, I think. Yeah, I did go with one of those. I, I believe I did go with one of those. Okay. Let me make sure. I want to read through the notes before we get started. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Do you want to keep going first? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I gotta think of I gotta think of a name really quick. Um, okay, okay. Is it my it's my turn to go first too? Yeah. All right. What do we got here? We have a huge jock that wants to be a ballerina that fights for the ultimate boxing title. What? What? Hey, are you ready? Oh my god. Stop stalling for time to those think of stuff. Too, those are too much the same. Oh my gosh. Okay. In this movie, we have a huge jock that all he's been doing these last few years has been trying to get into this ballerina academy, okay? However, he's running low on funds. So now he has to fight for the ultimate boxing title and go against all of his training just to win the money in order to to be a ballerina for the rest of his life. Nope. That's the end? You're just done? <laughs> That's good. And ballerinas are pretty hot. You know what else is hot? Okay. 40 teenagers who are getting killed throughout the whole movie. You know, make it like I have a screen vibe to it. Go. <laughs> As he starts fighting for the ultimate boxing title, the opponent gets really angry because he's winning so much and starts sending their troop of teenagers after them. And all of a sudden, he has to start just punching them out, just knocking them out and just slaughters an entire group of people. And then his ballerina career, career is ended. Done. So you're advocating violence against children. Got you it. You told me to add that to the movie. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you told me to add it to the movie, okay? <laughs> okay. This is your hero? Oh, that's right. We this need is to, your hero. We need to play Dulasaur Island, Luke. I totally forgot about that. We should totally put that on the list. Okay, I'm writing, I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. Ganymede is another one, too. All right. So, I'll wait for her to be ready because there's no shenanigans at all. <laughs> Even though she gets to sit there for like an extra 15 seconds and be like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so totally not switch picking cameras. up stuff. I'm also switching cameras. <laughs> you can't. Hey, I don't want to do anything about trolley, that. Alan, because <laughs> twice you guys killed all people under the age of 15 just because you guys hate time machines. So, See, so they have no problem with my movie idea. Then, apparently. Is what it is. They have no problems with my movie idea. All right, you ready? All right. A dog who has never had a home struggles Aww. with the bleak reality of life in a big city. What? A young Pomeranian dog, very cute, oh, oranges, no. named Doug, gets lost from his family on a trip through New York City. No. He doesn't know what he's doing, so he's roaming around the streets trying to find a home. He's looking around, he's still able, he ends up in the sewers and fights a big sewer rat for a piece of pizza. Luckily, he wins out, not a little bit more worse for the wear. As he's making his way out of the sewer, he comes upon... Another a homeless man who vows to help this dog find his way home. So the two unlikely heroes head through New York City to find right. a new home. But what if we actually cast Keanu Reeves as the love interest? Done. <laughs> the homeless man is Keanu Reeves. And he heads home, and when he does find his home, you find out that Doug belongs to a family whose missing son was Keanu Reeves, who was homeless because he became a drug addict, because what? he followed this girl into madness. By following her on a drug crusade. No. <laughs> I feel like you definitely. There was some layers in there that. that didn't I stand connect, by it. That didn't connect. I don't know if this movie is connecting. Hey. Oh. Don't be mad. Oh, you got Alan, though. Don't be mad. Come home. Don't be mad because Keanu Reeves would pay a great long lost son that's reunited with oh. his family. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So they get their dog back and their son back. That's a twofer. <laughs> It's like a Twix. You can enjoy both. <laughs> we have, what do we have here? So we have yeah, do you even remember what yours was? Oh, yeah. That's that right. wants to be a ballerina. And they I'm have guessing... to fight in an ultimate boxing competition in order to go ahead and get money for the ballerina school. But then the guy gets mad and he sends all the people. Wasn't that movie called Mr. Nanny with Hulk Hogan? Or was it The Pacifier? 
I think it was called The Pacifier. That's no. the one. And it had, I think, was it The Rock in it or something? No. I feel like now that movie's been done. Now you're just making stuff up. Mr. Now Nanny. Just no. Stuff First off, up. <laughs> Mr. Nanny was actually a movie with Hulk Hogan. And then I think either the, somebody else did one called The Pacifier. And it was like Vin Diesel or The Rock. Oh, my god. Same gosh. thing. Where there, there's also well, the Tooth Fairy one, where one of them's the Tooth Fairy. There's a big jock that's the Tooth Fairy. So, Luke, really quick. Dulasaur yeah. Island is going to be shorter and a little bit, uh, like, easier to introduce to people. Yeah, Dulasaur is shorter. Where, where Dinosaur besides, Island's longer and has more parts to it. Right, absolutely. It's more just a working little bit different. Parts. Yeah. So, and one is two player, of course, you know, and then the other one you can play with multiple players. Okay. We're going to shut off the voting in five. You just want to win really quick. You're like, okay, Fine. voting's done. Pew, pew, done. <laughs> I'm going to have to say, Dr. Glory Hog, you got it. I feel like if I just talk, I become, somehow Glory I become Hog. a cheater or a villain if I talk. <laughs> Period. If I'm like, hey, okay, we're going to do this, it's like, cheater, traitor. It's okay. It's okay. I still love you, even though you're, you're cheating with cheater tins, Dr. Glory oh. Hog. <laughs> <laughs> You're so nice to me, right? Listen, you know, it's not everybody can get past that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm totally throwing you under the bus right yeah. now. Do you want plot <laughs> or <Lord> characters? <laughs> Aw, Battle Cry's throwing you a bone right now, That's too. Right. Aww. Do you want plot or characters? What did I do last time? I think I did pull. Did I do plot last well, time? Well, did you pick the I underground box? No, did, you picked characters. Didn't I did you pick plot. the jock? Oh, no, wait. I did do characters, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did do characters because I liked the jock on there. But then I got a bunk card that wasn't any good. I'll do characters. <laughs> All right. Here are my, here are my note cards, guys. This one is, is very legit, right? <laughs> All right, which ones am I picking? I'm picking plot this time. I think so. Plot. Oop, don't look at that. Is that over for characters? <laughs> All right. Here are plots we have to choose from. It also gives kind of people like a little sampling of the cards. There's a wise cracking baby that I did not pick. Don't play that C card. <laughs> right? What is that one? Don't look at my card. Well, I'm gonna I, could, I could play the C card. You don't know. Right, but you're going to literally read it out loud. <laughs> play the rebellion and an oppressed and clean asylum. Yikes. You could probably do that one. Okay. I could see you pulling that off because you're crazy. Wow. Wow, Dr. Glory Hog. I do plot or character. I think I did character. All right, we're going to do this one. Yeah, do character. All right, so I actually, I get to go you first. You get to I go guess. first. Did you read your notes? Yes. Are you lying? No. <laughs> right, I'm not you, lying. You ready? Okay. An overweight vampire that just wants to fit in flees from natural disaster in a near future apocalypse. Everyone knows that when you become a vampire, you are as yourself. And unfortunately for Hubert, he Hubert. was working in a cube every day of his life. He was a little overweight, a little sweaty, and balding. Unfortunately, it happens to everybody. Male pattern balding, you can't predict that. Okay. He gets turned into a vampire when he follows a sexy lady down into an alleyway. Turns out, she just wanted him for his blood and his money. She also took his money. <laughs> but things couldn't get any worse for him, right? Except, you know, the end of the world. You better give me the... So, what if this were a Western? Because those are, like, so hot right now. So, let's make this a Western, guys. I right. think this is strong as a Western. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. All right. So the overweight balding. this happens in the West. <laughs> He's actually a cleric that works behind a bank vault. This happens in the West. He gets picked up by an unscrupulous lady, gets bit, gets turned into a vampire, and it's the end of the world because the railroad's coming. It's going to shut down everything for vampires. Everyone's going to be drug out into the light. <laughs> how is the vamp? How is the end of the world? I'm sorry, my pitch the is railroads. over. Railroads. Uh, how is uh, how does because that work? the railroad destroyed the West. Once the railroad came, the West, the life type, the lifestyle of the West ended. That was the end of the Western life. And an industrial nation came. That's the end of the West. Maybe nobody liked the West anyway, because like That's, was, they're not voting if they dusty. like the West. It was a little dusty. They're voting on if this sounds like a better movie than whatever your craptacular is going to be. Wow. 
Wow, I'm you sorry, don't know. I didn't, I didn't realize that you were allowed to just uh, critique my video. Are you even in this appointment? <laughs> Are you in this appointment? I'm outside the door listening and I'm like, see? Oh, that sounds no more terrible. <laughs> I'm taking that one idea though. <laughs> Go ahead. Alan's going to be our referee. <laughs> hey, no more debate. <laughs> All right. I have a grizzled sea captain that fights to save a rare and mysterious animal from poachers. So we all know grizzled sea captains on the sea are a little bit crazy. And he is fighting. He's dragging his crew across the sea to a mysterious island to save this mythical animal from poachers because everybody is looking for this animal. The only problem is he doesn't know what it looks like. So he scours the island trying to find this magical beast. And all the while, his crew think he's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But, you know, superhero movies are super hot right now. So why don't you just give everyone superpowers and tell me what they are? <laughs> what the captain didn't know was that he now possesses a magical sight in order to see these animals because he touched the superhero rock of awesomeness on that island. And as other people are on the island, they find out about his powers and touch the rock too. And pandemonium erupts as they go across the world. <laughs> they go across the world and, oh, I'm sorry, you're done. Your time is done. Listen, listen. Listen, it was either that. I was going to make it when you said you're looking for an animal. I was going to make it where every character was a hitman. Oh, that would have been epic. That would have been so epic. I wanted to see oh how God. you would struggle with the superheroes. That would have been an amazing story. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you would struggle with the superheroes. All right, so we have an overweight vampire in a western that tries to flee from a national apocalypse. Oh, well, I would 100% would watch a grizzled sea captain that fights to save a rare and mysterious animal from poachers, but also on an island full of hitmen. That's just because you don't do like that. westerns, though. <laughs> what was my other card, though? It was superhero power? Yeah, it was superheroes. Okay. Where we had, we all had superhero powers, and we were trying to find that magical beast. Listen, you have to buy one of these. <laughs> you have. They might be bad. Give us your money. <laughs> you have to win one of these. One yeah. of these has to get funded. We should do videos on our top 10 solo two-player party games, etc. Ooh, top 10 list. Top 10 list. Do you think we want Tom Basil to come here and assassinate us? For real, you do yeah. You top 10 list and he's, you're dead. If I did top 10 list, they wouldn't end up being here. They'd probably end up being yeah, in the true. Dice Tower. I wouldn't be able to probably post them here. The Dice Tower would be like, hey, hey. <laughs> We'd like some top 10 lists. <laughs> All right, guys. Vote, 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 vote. Vote, vote, vote. It's not a Western Space Samurai story. I'm out. I'm it's vampires. Out. <laughs> it's vampires. The vampire is training to be a samurai, but he was also very into rice. Listen, I really liked my, my story just because you never actually knew what the mythical beast was, and I did that for a reason, guys. That's the worst. So you guys could interpret on that. That's a horrible I'm telling question. you, I should just make this movie. I need to write a book. That's it. I've just, I've just made a book. <laughs> Here's the deal. The reason why this game exists is because Skybound makes movies also, and they can just listen to these really bad pitches at their booth. Oh. And they could be like, and then they're like, hmm, this is actually, that actually, sounds good. This sounds like a good idea. Harry Potter in space. Sign me up. <laughs> Jaws has a lot of love interest. I'm in. Top 10 games with traitors would oh, be Oh, she had a fantastic. no card to introduce a dog character? Yes, yeah, I did. One. I did. But I didn't want to give him that power, Alan. I didn't want to give him that power, okay? I'll only <laughs> use Doug once. All right, so All right. we're going to call voting. It looks like Hound won this one. I'm, I'm guessing it's because people like dogs more than pigs, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> My only one that right. won was a dog card. Guys, this is going to be... The final round. This will be final round? Final round. Should we do it from the superhero set then? Let's do it from the superhero deck. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but... Don't Pitch bring them out. No, I wanted to show them. Too really many. Quick. Pitch Storm actually has different themed decks. So, if you have a particular type of... What is it? Movies or movie style that you yeah. guys like playing with? They actually have a deck for you. And we're going to be checking out the superhero one. And here. you can kind of like mix them up too. Like you can do like some animation with some creature features, which is going to be like, you know, your I want to do the creature and features really bad. Award season is cool because it's completely different. It adds an extra element that you have to work in there. So you have to be like, okay, who had the best use of a horse? Whose movie would have the best lighting? Which one would have had the best soundtrack? And you have to mix that in with everything else that's going on. I'm super excited to look at some of these other decks because, like, they're so much fun. This is one of the games that we end up demoing at at the Skybound booth whenever yeah, we work so with them. Yeah, so we've played with a lot of these cards and with a lot of the expansions, and I've read a lot of the expansions. 
but we haven't cracked our own open because we end up we playing play it. them at, at the yeah. Skybound booth. <laughs> that is true. All right, guys, which which one should I do here? Character or plot? Character or plot? And I'll just do the opposite, whatever she gets. The superhero one's one of their newer ones. I don't think yeah, I've seen so the superhero. I got this one. I went to uh, Pax West. So yeah, superhero was brand new. So I actually haven't even opened up superhero. Is yet. there a comedy movie pack? Ooh. So they have. So they're all based off comedy. You've got animation, superheroes, award season, NC seventeen for adult, date night, which is like romantic comedy, and creature features, which is like slashers and. Movies like Jaws, stuff like that. They don't have a specific one for comedy, well, but... Well, there, there is one that came with the Kickstarter that was It's So Good, It's Bad, I think is kind of very oh, comedy-based. Oh, okay, okay. Like, kind of like cult comedy-type based one, but I didn't get that one out because it's a Kickstarter one. We and should talk to Ben about that, I don't that, know how easy it is to get after the fact. So I brought just the ones that are actually purchasable. I try Double to, points, triple points? I try not to show off stuff that are, like, unbuyable. We'll do quadruple points for this last one, guys, okay? So, so that I have a shot, but then... So, yeah... <laughs> <laughs> Either I have a shot or you just just or you're landslide. Just decimated. Just decimated. Like my Blood Bowl match last night where I just got beat like four to one. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. So was she doing plots or is she going for characters? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Oh, I, should, I should look at these notes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here are my cards. Here are the note cards. This one's always a good one. I'm leaning towards that one, guys. Or, of course, you know, like that one. <laughs> definitely not going to give her the one that gives Look her a bunch of... Look it up of... on eBay, exactly. I definitely not going to Some... give her the one that gives her a bunch of alternate reality versions of the hero. Oh, yeah. She loves that timey-wimey... Timey-wimey stuff. Alternate dimension That's stuff. Right. Apparently, she loves it. I should have had her vote on the TARDIS one. I'm going to go for characters. I'm going to yes. go for characters, I think. I'll go for plots. Oh my gosh. Gosh. You know what? Like, look at these, everyone. <laughs> these are fantastic. Oh my goodness. I think I think I know which one I have to go with. This is like, it's a must. That's a must, guys. All right. Everyone's going to be really happy with my choice. <laughs> You're going to go first? And then I get a special plot. I did win last time, didn't I? Mm, I think so. We can right. just assume you won. Okay. I need to switch. I need to switch angles here. There we go. We have four warrior turtles living in the sewers, fighting a gang of super vampires. Oh. So basically, we have these four warrior turtles who are actually aquatic turtles. Okay, so they can actually breathe underwater. However, they're fighting a gang of super vampire villains because these vampires want to take over the world so what do they do they go under the water into the sewers and then through the sewers up into the vampire's base during the daytime i like it i like it um turtles can breathe underwater uh second let's give the story an anti-hero the gods They're love that turtles. stuff they still breathe well yeah but i mean like they can swim under there they're aquatic -y. it's okay i love you <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? So let's give this story an anti hero. The goths love that stuff. You're goth. An anti, an anti hero? What you guys don't know, though, bum, is bum, that bum. one of these aquatic turtle mutants has been bit by a vampire and starts wearing black. And then he's thinking about if he should go ahead and turn the rest of their clan to the dark side. How does that make him a hero? Anti hero, like Deadpool? Because, like, sometimes he wants to and sometimes no, it, he doesn't. I'm sorry, you're actually, you're done. You can't. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know where you're going with that. I know where you're going with that, and I like it. I feel like, I, I feel like it. this was going to work out. It was going to work out in the end. And then, Not you know only what? were they mutant He was going to feel bad. He was going to feel bad about it. They were mutated turtles that could actually breathe underwater. They had gills. That's they, super sick. They could feel, he was going to feel bad about it and then not do it. But also still be super goth. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So here's mine. Here's mine. A the super... twist is they are, I'm sorry. The twist is they are super lame. So super vampires, what are they, their powers and how are they super? Or is the twist that they're super lame? That's awesome. <laughs> they have glitter powers. A super soldier from the past searching for a new purpose must work with their immoral brother to save their kingdom. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So a super soldier from a past, a knight 
from a long, long ago, from Arthur's court. He gets blasted towards the future, like through a portal, and he is searching for a new purpose because now he's in a new land and he's still a knight at heart. He's got to figure out what to do. And he becomes in this weird situation. Are you going to be a note card? This weird situation where he has to actually work with his immoral brother who followed him through the fuck through the portal. All right, so what if we actually set this in a high school for superheroes? That's perfect. <laughs> so the only no. non-superheroes in this high school, he's got to work with the brother to save the kingdom because all the other superheroes are destroying the planet. These aren't good superheroes. These are like Hancock superheroes. Cocky at best. Not good. Not good. He's got to work with his immoral brother as the only two knights to save this, and his brother's not good either. So why are they saving the kingdom I if can't they're in high you. school? I can't if they're tell in you. high school, it shouldn't be like that, okay? Uh, he wasn't, <laughs> first off, he was a knight at a very young age. Aren't you a little young to be a knight? Well, yes, yes I am. They're, Aren't you a little young to be a knight? If well, they're yes, in high yes, school, yes, shouldn't they be saving like themselves from homework or and something? And the intro to this know. movie is... I don't know, guys. da 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 Da, 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 no. da, da, da. Dookie Hauser, everybody! Dookie Hauser for everyone else who's as lame and as old as we are. It's it's played by Neil Patrick All Harris. Right. All Neil right. Patrick Harris is the knight. We have the four warrior turtles living in the sewers because they are aquatic, fighting a gang of super vampires. Or the super soldier from the past who has to save the world from a superhero high school. In Where the, mine becomes all gothic brother. because one of them gets turned into a vampire. I feel like mine makes a lot of sense overall, okay? Except for the anti-hero part <laughs> in Breathing Under the Water. They're just aquatic turtles. They have like little like little fin toes. And their fin toes help them breathe underwater with their anti-hero brother who's trying to turn them into vampires. Oh my gosh. No, bum, Dr. Bum, Delory bum. Hawk's going to get a murder after this show. <laughs> Doogie Hauser. Neil Patrick Harris. So it could be a musical if you wanted. Get the ballerina to beat these teenagers up. That's right, Battle Cry. <laughs> I think we should probably stop I think, voting. I think that you went ahead and maybe uh, maybe ran away with this one. You're just super excited you won because of quadruple what? points at the what? end, right? Yeah, why did you make a quadruple points? You could have made a double and I would have never caught you. Just remember that even with quadruple points. That's four. You only got five. two. You only got two total. So I technically won. Quadruple means four. So I tech I know, but you only won two times. Right, that's four. If I got four points. No, I know. I'm saying like if five we points? hadn't done the quadruple points, I still would have won. I still would have won. So it's five, <laughs> five points to four. I'm sorry that you lost. Thank you, Whatever. everybody. Thank Whatever. you. Whatever. It was. We did this together. Oh we my did this gosh. together. Oh my god. You are the real heroes in the story. <laughs> the real heroes. The real heroes are you. So it? yeah, as you guys can see, this is this was my pick. I, I love Pitstorm because you get to make mix up all kinds of ridiculous movies and just mix them all up together. That's right. You are very on the spot improv. A huge fan of movies and a huge fan of like improv style games. So let this was like right up the alley, right up well right Not up your the alley. alley where the vampire right up your alley <laughs> where the vampire bit that overweight <laughs> bank teller, right? There were a lot of vampires in this. I'm just saying. There, there, were, there quite was quite a few vampires. Two Bigfoots. <laughs> Lots of Bigfoots. <laughs> that's true. That's true. There's a lot, but there's all kinds of things that could happen. I mean, you could explore a dangerous alien planet. You could hatch a crazy get rich quick scheme to live the American dream. We and you could win enough money at the talent show to pay for your grandma's surgery. <laughs> you can do what you need to do. We're all in this together, says Luke. High school musical. <laughs> Boom. I love it. I love it. That's why I gave her the musical one because she hates musicals. So if you guys liked this video, like and subscribe to our content and share it out with the world. We always appreciate that. We're going to be playing The Goblin King is Angry Which on is really Sunday. just about a fraternity on the verge of suspension. What, The Goblin King is Angry? Yeah. Definitely. Revenge of the Nerds! <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any other plans? So I actually, I took down the two other games, Duosaurus, and we definitely need to get Ganymede. to Ganymede because we have their moon expansion, which I'm super excited to play. If you guys have not played Ganymede before, it is an engine building game. It's very quick, fast, easy learn. It's like a uh, introduction engine building game. When the moon hits your eye like a big abyss of eye, ninja turtle. And I'm excited to go ahead and check out the moon expansion that comes with it that just came out. So I'm really excited about that. What else? What else we got going on? Anything else? Tonight we're playing Super Kitty Bug Slap on Steve Jackson Games channel. I don't know how to play it. 
I'm assuming there's a slap involved. <laughs> there's slapping involved. There nice. is. Nice. <laughs> nice. Like Double a... secret probation. And Dr. Glory Hawk right. finally. Double secret probation. Finally won. It's been, it's been a couple games that you haven't won lately. Usually you are the... Yeah, you beat me in Watergate. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Hopefully your streak of losing continues. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be the villain. I thought I was supposed to be the villain. I'm like Zac Efron, oh, where nobody expected that, me to get abs. True. And that's then I true. didn't, so I proved them right. <laughs> oh, me. Other than that, guys, we hope you guys have a safe and happy weekend. We will see you guys later. Like or... a bunch of friendly dragons living in the forest. And next Friday, we will probably be talking about Kickstarters. Again, why our, we did not do the Kickstarter show is this week is just because there's not a whole lot to talk about. That we Sarah. wanted to talk about. Well, there's still stuff. There's stuff. But it's slowed down. It has slowed down a whole lot. And we would rather bring you guys really awesome things we're excited about and excited to talk to you about than things we're like, meh, I don't know. Because that doesn't make it like a super awesome like talk. You know, whenever I mean, you're excited you really about something. How do you really beat an all-time goose's favorite game? Um, 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 right, um, exactly. How do you that? Exactly. How do you beat that? <laughs> the jokes don't get better. <laughs> Other than that, thank you for everybody that joined us in chat today. You guys are amazing. We always love having you there and commenting with you guys. And we'll see you guys all next week. Bye.